Hello, this is Devin from WordPress Theming, and I just installed the new trunk version of WordPress 3.0. It's um, in the alpha release now, and I was interested in a few checking out some of the new features that are here, and especially the um, the multi-site feature. And so, as soon as I signed up um, or installed this blog, I noticed a few differences. One is um, in the setup screen, you can actually define the admin user, which is very cool, and set your own password. And then once you get in, you'll notice the dashboard is just slightly different. This area looks a little more compact. Um, I selected um, in the installation that I wanted this site not to be searchable by Google, and I see that this little notice is here now. And that's very neat because I have definitely launched sites in the past and forgotten to turn off on that privacy and then they weren't getting indexed by Google. So I checked a few days later and it's like, oh shoot. Um, but I think I will definitely always know when the privacy is set now that this feature is in. A um, few other things is in the appearance. I'm, I'm running the default theme. 2010 which looks great um, and then under appearance you can see that you can um, change the headers out um, and these a bunch are already pre-selected um, you can change the background out and it looks like the menus finally got integrated in or just got integrated probably um, a week ago so it's very cool to see all that um, but the network or the multi-site function is what I'm really interested in and if you look under tools and click on network this is how you enable a multi-site um, and it kind of goes through some of the instructions here for what you need um, when I set this up about a half hour ago um, I didn't really know what the wildcard DNS records meant um, and that basically means that if you're going to set up um, a site that has subdomains, like this blog1.example.com or blog2.example.com, you'll need to be able to have um, wildcard DNS records on your uh, server or on your host. And I'm using Bluehost, and they do not allow it. I just um, had a, a chat with Bluehost um, and sent a ticket. So. Maybe um, by the time WordPress 3.0 comes out, some of these hosts will maybe have a different um, a, a different way to deal with that. Um, I'm hoping Bluehost will allow me to have subdomains. But for now, I'm just going to use subdirectories. And so you just select that there. Um, pick what you're going to call your network. So setting up this site for my girlfriend actually so I will call it the Lane Hardy Network and that's her email there and go ahead and click proceed um, I just did this two minutes ago so it still has that network going um, and now it gives me information that I need to actually edit my config file and my HT access file and make these changes for this site to actually work. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is copy this. And you may be seeing my passwords here, so I'm going to have to update those, and I will. Um, so that's my WP uh, config um, file there. And then this is for your HT access file. Um, and if you look generally on your on your site, if you're in the FTP here, it, you probably won't have the HT access file because that gets um, set when WordPress installs. So if you do a remote view, Oh, and I deleted it, but if you look in another site that I have in the remote view, you generally see the HT access file. Well, maybe you don't see it. Back here. Well, if it doesn't have the HT access file, you can always make one. So that will be in the root of wherever your, your blog is. So I'm going to go ahead and 
that this I'm using Dreamweaver and it doesn't let me access that directly, but I go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna replace what was in the HC access file formerly formerly with this new code that it gave me. Paste that in there. Save it. Rename it back to HD access. Upload it. And now I should be good for multi site. Um, and so let's see what happens when I click back here on the dashboard. Not quite yet. Oh, I need to upload my WP config file probably too. Okay, let's put that up. Now let's see what happens. Ah, so now we see we have network. Um, and we have a whole bunch of different options under here. We also see this warning pop up. Um, I'm using the 2010 theme and it says it has thumbnails that need to be activated so you can go into here and set your settings and I think the thumbnails is probably being dealt with um, to somewhere around here or at least I think so because when I click update options that little notice goes away and so then if I want to create another site I um, click on sites um, I'm going to go ahead and do the site address is lanehoney.com slash food. And I'm going to call it food.lanehoney. And give her the same email address so it doesn't create another user. And I'm going to click add site. And now the site should be added and I can go ahead and visit it. And so here's the one site at lanehardy.com slash food. And here is the other site um, at lanehardy.com. And just to test to see if this actually works, I can try and set a different theme for one of them. So I'll go into the back end of my root um, site. Um, and under appearance and themes, only have one theme there, so I'll go ahead and install another one. Um, let's just do the Kirby theme by uh, Ian Stewart. Go ahead and install that. Activate. So now on landhardy.com, it should be running the Kirby theme. And on lanehardy.com slash food, it should still be running the 2010 theme. And there you go. That's how to set up the multi-site in 3.0. So um, everything's not um, in stone here because it's still the trunk version, but that should give you a good idea of how to do it. I'm still figuring out a lot of this stuff myself, as you can see, but I'm really excited about the new features in WordPress uh, 3.0.